Hello everyone, I am Shwam Pasari and welcome to Asian Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of parallelogram and the question has been taken from the GMAT exam practice book. Now the question is as follows, the parallelogram shown has four sides of equal length. What is the ratio of the length of the shorter diagonal to the length of the longer diagonal? Now we are provided for options for this question, option A 1 by 2, option B 1 by root 2, option C 1 by 2 root 2 and option D 1 by root 3. So this was our question on the topic of parallelogram and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that I've tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to our given question we are given a parallelogram whose all four sides are equal so let us assume that all the four sides of this parallelogram is equal to variable a. Now according to our given question we are given that this angle is equal to 60 degree and we have to find the ratio of the shorter diagonal to that of the longer diagonal. Now if this angle is equal to 60 degree this angle is also equal to 60 degree because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal and the adjacent angles are supplementary. So this angle is equal to 180 minus 60 that is equal to 120 degree. So this angle is also equal to 120 degree. Now we have to find the ratio of the shorter diagonal to that of the longer diagonal. So if we name the points as A, B, C and D respectively, then I can say that one of my diagonals is equal to AC and the other diagonals is equal to BD. Now I don't know which is the longer and shorter diagonal, but after finding out the values of AC and BD, we'll get to know that as well. Now let's take a good look at the triangle ADC. Now we see that ADC is formed by this side as A, this side as A and a diagonal so we can take this diagonal as G1. Now if this is equal to 60 degree and we know that the sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree, so then this angle plus this angle is equal to 120. Now since this side is equal to this side, these two angles must be same. So 120 by 2 is equal to 60 degree. So we have got this triangle as an equilateral triangle. So we can say that D1 is equal to A. Now we don't know that D1 is shorter or longer but we can take that D1 is equal to A and now let's find D2. So now to find the value of D2 let us consider the triangle BCD. Now we know that this is B, this is C and this is D and this is equal to 120 degree. This is A, this is A and this is equal to D2. Now if this is an isosceles triangle then this is equal to 30 degree and this is also equal to 30 degree. Now we know that the area of a triangle can be represented as half AB sin C where A and B are the adjacent sides and C is the angle in between. So we can use this formula to calculate the area of the triangle using the sides A, D2 and 30 degree and A, A and 120 degree. So the values are half into A into D2 sin 30 degree and it is equivalent as half into A into A into sin 120 degree. Now from here we will get D2 in terms of A, so this half A and this half A will get cancelled. We know that D2 into sin 30 degree is equal to D2 into half and A into sin 120 degree is equal to A into root 3 by 2. So this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and we have got D2 is equal to root 3 A. So now we have got both the values of D1 and D2 where D1 is equal to A and D2 is equal to root 3 A and we have to find the ratio of the shorter to longer diagonal. Now since root 3a is clearly greater than a, so we can say that we have to find the value of d1 by d2 that is equal to a by root 3a and upon cancellation we will get the ratio as 1 by root 3. Now according to our given option, it is option number d, so the value of the ratio of the shorter diagonal to the longer diagonal is equal to option number d, 1 by root 3. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. 
And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.